When you think about influential inventions or innovations in the history of computers, what comes to mind? Windows? The Mac? iPod? Well, there is certainly one interface that many people don't think of. The USB, or Universal Serial Bus. Well, what is USB? And who invented it? Well, what is its purpose? To fully understand USB, we have to first understand its history. Back in the early 1990s, when USB was unexistent, Setting up devices to a computer was a pain in the People had to deal with several types of cables, most of which were not interchangeable and had inadequate capabilities. Even to connect a few common devices, such as a monitor, printer, mouse, keyboard, and speakers, took five different cables. Normal computers had only two serial ports, and a parallel port which was slow and often had to accommodate for far more than it could handle. It was simply a big hassle. So, the seven big computer and technology companies at the time, Compaq, DEC, IBM, Intel, Microsoft, NEC, and Nortel, came together to create a connection interface that was universal, fast, and could be used for a multitude of purposes. Within a year of development, the Universal Serial Bus version 1.0 was released. This newborn design had many good things standing for it. It could be used for multiple functions, it had plug-and-play and, and hot-swapping capability, and it also had fast data transfer rates. Lastly, it was available on most new computers. But what was most important was that it brought connecting devices to a whole new level of simple. You connect the USB plug to your computer, and in most cases, that's all there is to it. If the computer doesn't recognize the device, it'll ask to install a driver for it. So how does this technology work? Inside your standard USB 2.0 cable are four wires, one for upstream data, one for downstream data, one for power, and one ground. USB allows transference of simultaneous upstream and downstream data packets between the host and the device, meanwhile providing 5 volts of power. The architecture of a USB system is a special one. It includes the host, such as a PC, television, or gaming console, the USB device, and the USB cable that connects the two. The relationship between the host and the device is called a master-slave connection. The PC, or the host, is the master and decides what happens, and the slave, or the device, listens. The host has two types of responsibilities, hardware and software. Hardware responsibilities include detecting USB connections and disconnections, providing electrical power to the connected devices, and controlling the transfer of data between the host and the device. Software responsibilities include handling the USB devices and their connectivity, configuring the USB devices, running the device's drivers, and managing power levels and bandwidth. You all think you know what a USB plug looks like, but what you're thinking is only the most common one. The one you know is the standard A plug, which is what you plug into your computer. This specific type of end draws power and is the host. Other types of USB connectors include the B connector, Micro A, Micro B, and Mini B. These connect to the device. They do not draw power, nor do they have the power to send instructions. Stop and think for a second. Have you ever seen a USB cable which both ends had an A connector? You probably haven't, because it's very rare. The reason there are no dual A connector cables is because both would draw 5 volts of power from the host, creating power supply problems. Now that we understand how USB works, we must ask ourselves, how has USB impacted us? It may seem simple, but in reality there are more answers than just the obvious. Let us start with the positive side. Evidently, USB has nearly completely taken over as the status quo for peripheral connections due to its increased accessibility for hundreds of devices. If the average person was instructed to connect a keyboard to the purple 6-pin mini-DNI port, a mouse to the green PS2 port, a PDA to a serial port, and a printer to a parallel port, he'd be left completely confused only to ask for a repetition of the instructions. The thing with USB is, you don't have to be a tech wizard to know how to use it. It has become basic computer knowledge to know about USB. One standard connection connects all your devices. We've all seen and recognized this infamous logo. We know it just as well as the Apple logo or the Nike logo. The USB Trident logo is branded on every single one of the 10 billion plus USB compatible devices sold on this planet. That's right, more than 10 billion. 
Well, if the USB really has become a universal standard, what kind of devices use it? What better way to emphasize my point than to list a whole bunch of them? Mice, keyboards, cell phones, tablets, desktops, laptops, speakers, mass storage devices, printers, monitors, scanners, wireless network sticks, joysticks, webcams, digital cameras, modems, and network connections. I'm not finished. Slipper heaters, heated gloves, vibrators, eye massagers, massage balls, dog tags, humidifiers, and even a grill? This list just goes to show you how versatile and ubiquitous USB really is. iPods and iPhones? The average iPhone or Mac owner owns at least 10 devices in their homes that use USB as a medium of connection. In fact, all Apple products themselves use USB. This one connection allows users to do all of that. Now that you think about it, it's pretty remarkable, isn't it? Now onto negative social impacts. None. The USB platform has literally done nothing that has impacted our society for the worse. And no, it made things simpler and therefore we have become lazy is not a valid answer. But like all things great, the day will come where USB will crumble. And that will be caused by a little something called technological advancement. Right now, USBs are the way to go, but that's because they're the best thing we have. With wireless technology blooming and growing all around the world, it won't be long before all devices become wireless. Wireless printing, wireless monitors, wireless everything. And that, most certainly, will be the successor to our precious USB.